Christmas greetings to everybody out there. Merry Christmas. This is a day of celebration and a day of gratitude. I hope you guys are still doing well with your families and you are safe. This is the power of healing with Utabi. Uh, uh, so today, Mizokuluma about the four ways that we communicate with candles. Or the four ways that com candles communicate. First and foremost, I just want to say, I was summoned this morning. I didn't want to, I didn't plan to make a video, but uh, it's through summons that we do things and through being uh, uh, sent things that we do things. Um, so guys, I want us to look at today's Christmas and just observe and be grateful. Two things, observe and be grateful. Be A lot of us did not make it this far. Secondly, let us be grateful for the things that you received, regardless of the basket and, and that you, you had two items and other people have trolleys. Let us be grateful. We have prayed the whole year about finances, jobs, employment, a lot of things. But today let us just be grateful that we have received Christmas, that we, we have seen God's mercy upon us. Because it is through His grace that we have received Christmas, that we are preparing meals now to eat with our families. That if family or immediate family is a pelele, people have experienced floods, people have seen a lot of things, people have been killed by lightning guys. Let us just be grateful. And the reason why I'm talking about candles because I want us to just pray and before you have your meal, whether it's uh, uh, two things in your plate, whether it's four, whether it's seven colors, but before you eat and I check and check if we are still doing okay by God. I want us to just say, God, am I still doing okay by you? Can I with you? Watch the candle communicate with you guys. Um, so, let us just be grateful in everything. Sorry, I just got distracted. Let us just be grateful in everything. Um, so, four ways that candles can communicate with you. Through a flame. Flame. Um, if flame is this lentole like that, we say yayenza. So it depends on the size of a candle. Ugutsi is sizing and that's how you see whether it is well or not. And oh, it, it's oh, it's always happening. I always use e e e e e white candle, guys. And I will ex e, e white candle for me represents a lot of things. A lot I have had a lot of people saying purity and innocence and like but for me white candle is your spiritual is your foundation your spiritual assessment your 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 light that you connect with so if my light is not shining bright so the flame itself uh it negates the idea that no something is not well uh in the spirit circle, if flame is size, yeah, with the weather is small or in giant. The second one, when it's so with the flame, when it's big and when it's it's bright, because sometimes it's big, it's bright, and then it makes stars or it makes a cross or it makes it makes a lot of things, it makes like a sun. Everything is well within your space, okay? So it says, yeah, you basically tells you whether you're okay or not. And even with the other candles, and and I think every each and every one of us is gifted uh, in the manner that your spirit guides, your ancestors, will tell you which candles to use. Do not feel intimidated if unga use a colors, guys. If unga unga uh, different meanings 
for candles. Abantu the Zambula differently. They are revealed differently to each and every one of us. Must that I use have a certain representation. So it's not about omunyo guto omunyo no purple no red. I should use purple no red. You don't know guto lomundo o dila nama spirits anjani o o sebenzi sana nama spirits guide anjani and kanjani so don't go about using ama candles that are not revealed to you because everybody else is doing it let us stop following it trend it is because somebody is doing it awa azulwa na zipi zi izi bizo moya so how then do you know how then do you use it can't really when a inga ega zangu iboni selon okay so for me na i wouldn't say the best candles the colors and and try to explain them because they are explained differently to each and every one of us when i use mine when i use mine there's certain reasons or it is that i'm inviting because candles for me now for utabi candles it is a presenter whether it is a or a tease so if i'm going to use black for me na ithunya ithize ezi 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 ngafanela ngayivuswe noma kanjani so guys let us be careful and may i will try and explain candles candle colors when you video i will see and i will check or with with my spirit guide guys because angifuna ukwenza into for the sake of doing it um so I've explained the first thing, which is a flame, the size of the f and the brightness, and then we go to ewax. Now a candle has ewax, so ewax is when a uh, lens into sort of like oilier corner or that wax talks, guys, because that wax. Usually I say to my clients, leave it if it's making it's it's making something out of ewax. Leave it. I leave it for an hour. Okay, or, or 30 minutes depending on how long the spirits want to stay with me or how long the spirits want to, to find peace within that space. So, I will me as I am done because sometimes spirits want to communicate even more or they want, you know, to have that space of that moment of peace. So, the wax, it, it, it creates certain things. It creates, uh, sometimes you see like clouds. Ian Zamangatama bubbles sometimes within the cloud and there's a hole. Sometimes it does e e e e ocean or the water. Sometimes it does water spirits. Sometimes the wax creates headstones like angel headstones, angels with wings, female angels, depending on the spirit, depending on your spirit, depending on the spirit that's communicating with you depending on the message that the wax wants to show you kunale ekhala yo ikhala ngendlela ithize ikhala because there's certain things that you're touching on when you pray so it's not good to ikhala because um sometimes there's a lot happening sometimes when we pray or when we do a consultation go figure this part where you touch and then just to validate you can deal with do a certain wax to validate you are on the right track so that's the works, guys. So the works is let the works build until if it if finish. Put it, once you're creating the works, please, please, please. Um, the third one is um, a light. The brightness. I'm sorry. I think I touched a light. The brightness of a light. Go flame. The brightness of a light when it makes stars, it makes crosses, it makes the sun, it makes um, basically most of the time it does it, it, it light the brightness of it because sometimes unga light a candle and it's not even bright. Go to light you. That that means there's something wrong and then we have to read go to what's going on because most of the time. And some candles even go flame. I'm sorry to say this. Even go flame. Some candles have a spirit. If you look at, if you look closely, it, it does a sort of like a, a dark shadow that has a spirit. That means the spirit is too strong that it's coming through the candle. And you need to understand now what that in that flame that picture is because there's a lot of things. Sometimes you see umtwana. Sometimes you see um, umtwana an unborn child. Sometimes you see a black head, a black man, you see a lot of things. So 
that's why you have to be very observant to your candle and that's why i said be observant today when you pray uh, for your lunch you lighting your candle and elisha let's make it elisha if we can not the one that you lose for e-load shedding because it's already taken evaporation in glue guys uh, or the energy vibrations surrounding the house or the rooms because there's memory all over the place we are about to for and then uh and things is now the movement of the kettle which is now number four it's the flame it's the wax it's the light and then it's the movement so it can tell that usually moves and with the flame as well sorry i'm i keep on, on, on forgetting these things with the flame as well so the movement now if we can learn to tap like usually the movement now if we can to tap like usually the candle is moving too quick and the the movement is just it's making like this line because my libby mover and then this line creates this uh, black uh, um, smoke it's showing emotion if i should say that the spirit is showing you emotion of how i feel when uh, at that moment or about whatever it is that you're touching on or in so the, the the spirit will show movement whether to disagree whether to respond whether to you just need to understand good at this moment because the way it moves ear responder to you to you and it's just unfortunate not that uh not all of us are mediums and and i'm privileged man in that manner that i can get to understand the messages that come through from a candle but the the movement tells you because you can feel sometimes my move and there's, there's a difference between a response and there's a difference between showing emotion so you have to make out what's going on do you understand um it is very important to observe i'm a guys it is very important to observe Ama Candela um, because they help us through in life, Unji. They help us through in life. So, uh, guys, I hope this is helpful, but be grateful. Be grateful. And please do subscribe to my channel. And I know some of my videos, I don't know what's going on, Unji. Some of my videos voice i have a lot in obuso but uh we're not trying to make perfect videos but we're trying uh oxizana and teach each other because that's the most important part not to go to abe perfect so i am so grateful that you joined me for christmas and please do enjoy your your christmas and your new year's eve and if you are not meant to be in a place don't be that's all i have to say if don't be in that place we we this should be a peaceful christmas we've been through a lot guys we've been through price increase your good and all of this we've experienced so much in 2022 let us just be grateful just for one moment and yeah thank you thank you so much guys bye